Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change to the nearest percent and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So if I was given this problem from $328 to $333. Dollars, okay, so 328 to 333. Well, is that increasing or decreasing? It's actually an increase, right? It's, it's a slight increase, but it's increasing. It's an increase, okay. So now we have to find the difference between these two numbers. So I took the large number 333 and I'm going to subtract 328 to it from it. Well, the eight and three, uh, three and eight can't go together, so we have two here. 13, okay. 13 minus eight is a five. 2 minus 2 is a 0, and 3 minus 3 is a 0, so we actually have just 5, right? There's a 5 unit di of difference between these two numbers. So we take that number 5, and we divide it by our first number, 328. Now I know it's a very small number divided by a large number. It's going to be a, dec a very small decimal for percent here. But let's go figure out what that is. We use a calculator here. Okay, 5 divided by 328 comes out to be approximately 0.01. Five, two, four. Okay. So it's approximately zero point zero one five two four. We need to move that over two units to have uh, a one point, right? One point five two four. And now we need to round that to the nearest percent, right? Nearest whole percent. Well, that five just barely causes that one to round up. So that one turns into a two. So we actually have a two percent increase. So let's recap. We started with three twenty-eight uh, to three thirty-three dollars. So we needed to know if that's an increase or a decrease. So if it's going up, it's an increase between the two numbers. We then found the difference between them, and we got them to be a measly little five. So we take that five divided by three twenty-eight, the first number. They give us an approximately zero point zero one five two four. We then take that and move it over. It's a decimal. Convert to present. Move the decimal over two spots to get one point five two four. So 1.524 there, uh, that 5 makes the 1 round up to a 2 because we need a round to the nearest percent. And so we're left with the final answer of a 2% increase. 